can I ask you, on Chelsea, uh, I am a Chelsea fan. Uh, I know you were part of the bidding process. What happened, Steve? Interviewing you, I feel really sad that you didn't buy it. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm a Chelsea fan. Is why I became a Chelsea fan because I spent so much time with the people there, and I loved uh, meeting uh, uh, people people representing the women's team and and the the pitch association. It, it was a, it was a great uh, it, it was a fantastic process, and I met great people in, in that process. So so I'll, I'll be I'll be a Chelsea fan uh, as as well. Chelsea was an iconic asset, and, and, and what we do with the PAX Group, which is is, is my my sports uh, um, organization, is we want to buy iconic you know assets that have have really really like the Celtics that have a, a strong fan base that have potential to grow, and, uh, and and we view ourselves as stewards of these assets. You're really a steward. These are not you know it's not buying a company where you're trying to make more widgets. It's a company that is so ingrained in the community. So. So we, we really take a stewardship approach to this and, and we believe good things will happen. So I really love Chelsea for that aspect. I, I had had an apartment in London, as I said, in the early days of Bain. And it was a far, we're, we're at Mayfair Place. So it's right down the road, like two, two, three miles down the road. So I was very excited about it. And we thought we had a great chance to win because the original RFP came out to say that they were only going to have a few groups and they want a great steward and they don't want any debt on the business, z- zero debt, which is that's that's a that's a high hurdle because you're talking about purchase prices of, of two to three billion pounds with no debt and and we had a group that that came up with that money and what was a, a very rich price and uh, unfortunately at the, at the last minute um, they went away from that model and uh, they allowed debt to debt to go in the business and and they asked for a much higher price than what we were talking about so we, we had to drop out hmm. Chip. and our issue was you know we wanted we wanted to the way we would, and, and could be a very good investment, but the way we 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 do business is we want to prepare for the worst and hope hope for the best, and and we thought there'd be a big investment into the stadium. There need to be big investment into um, the improvement of the facilities. We wanted to invest in players, and 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 we just determined that that at the price that it was at, it was going to be hard to make the kinds of investments that we wanted to do. That was our strategy, and that the, the folks that bought it, their strategy could work. It may be a different strategy, but. It didn't work in the context of what we were trying to accomplish. Do you regret not paying up? <laughs> <laughs> no, we, you know, because because uh, 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 <laughs> you know the, a, a piece of a piece of uh, investment advice that was given to me by by uh, uh, someone very early in my career was the only thing worse than losing a deal is doing a bad deal, and if you feel like there's not going to be the capital there, you know, you're going to struggle with it in in the plan. You probably ought to, you probably ought to back off off so so no, I don't I don't regret that although it could be a very good investment I mean with it, it it's, it's an iconic franchise and and uh, and so so you know everyone has a different view of price and where their limit is and where their capital is and and uh, you know we just felt for our strategy it didn't work <laughs>